winner of the 2009 Innovation Award for Humanitarian Impact, Kiwok Nordic AB of Sweden. Judges selected Kiwok for its Body Comp Series Remote ECG Monitor, deployed in conjunction um, with caregivers and health systems. Body Comp allows, allows heart patients to live independently while their heart is monitored through a reliable wireless network, powered by, of course, titanium-based hardware. The Kiwok system provides um, automatic, real-time notifications, as well as furnishing long-time data, both for diagnosis and treatment. Utilizing an HP Integrity nonstop server to ensure um, the heart monitoring information is reliable, secure, and highly available at all times, the body comp technology saves significant resources by freeing up hospital beds and providing immediate feedback on the effects of ongoing heart treatments. And we have on our stage Anders Bjorland and Bjorn Soderberg of Kiwok, our 2009 humanitarian winners. Kiwok winners will be getting a real check in the future. We wanted to give them something to recognize their achievements, so we're going to uh, give them a, uh, uh, a $50,000 check, United States size. <laughs> Thank you, everyone, and the, and the jury, and everything like that. But uh, of course, this has not been possible without the close cooperation that we have with the, the Karolinska University Hospital. And then I mean both the clinical side and the technical side. And then we have had a global partner like HP, because without the HP nonstop platform, it hasn't been possible to deliver these kind of services. We have uh, the next American company for Isaac with the, all the rooms where we can individually uh, treat all the patients. And then last but not least, we have a wireless independent provider where we enable us to send this information for all kind of communication. Everything from Mobitex communication to satellite uh, communication. And then of course we have all the internal cable team. But then I will hand over to the heart patient himself, Andres Berlin. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yes, I am the heart patient, and the reason why we have this service up and running today is because of my own heart failure. And uh, I'm uh, actually connected right now. Uh, I'm going to do a little script here for you. This is the sensor, and I'm connected with traditional ECD uh, labs. And this is sending the Bluetooth to the cell phone I have here in my pocket. And this one is sending on a specific application to the service we have in Sweden. And without the HP service, it shouldn't work. And from that, the, my clinician can go, get the message back uh, of if something wrong with my ECD or if it's out of the limitation for some reason. And in our service, the clinician can also set the limitation for each patient individually. So this is of course very easy to say and very easy to do, but it hasn't been done before. Uh, to say, final finalize this with a little bit of figures. I can tell you in the Western world, we call the industrial world, there are about 130 million patients that should be examined each year. And we do about the, uh, 60, 70,000, 60, 70 million people uh, each year. So we do about 10, 15 percentage of what is, should be done. Uh, if all those patients should be examined, that would cost the, the society about 70 billion crowns. With this remote care ECD service, it can cost 9 billion crowns. So that is a tremendous reduction. And to finalize this, I would say just for ECD, that we need about 
say, 15,000 CPU in Intel services. Okay, thank you very much.